Hi guys, today I will show you how to make 4K quality TikTok and YouTube videos like this. But before, I want to thank everybody for 1000 subscribers. It's really motivating seeing your support on all my videos and I want to thank everybody for the support you've been showing. If you like these videos, please leave a comment, a like and don't forget to subscribe. I'm not going to waste your time anymore, let's get into After Effects. So the first thing you need is a good quality scene pack. I use 4K scene packs, but HD scene packs also works. To get scene packs, you can get them from Instagram accounts and Discord servers. I won't provide any, but it's pretty easy to find. When you have your scene pack, you make a composition here. And this is my resolution that I usually use, which is 1440 by 1600. You don't have to copy this, you can use whatever you like. I would recommend that you use 60 FPS. Even though TikTok and Instagram and YouTube don't upload in 60 FPS, please use 60 FPS. Once you're done and you have your clips, as you see here, I've made some clips of Thor. You need to make it look good because as you see, my clips are a bit choppy. So to do that, you just select them all and put on motion blur, which makes, which makes the clips have motion blur. And then double click frame blending. So looks like this and what, what Fable Blending does is it makes it so your clips are 60 fps and as you see now it's much more smooth and sometimes at the end of your clips and the beginning of a clip your frames can warp and if you have that problem just select the clip and control shift d at the time it warps and remove frame blending from that time so as you see now i've added some slow motion and some zooms to it it looks good in my opinion to render it you select all your clips like this and control c and make sure both of these are ticked and then ok and then open your pre-composition and go file export and add to render queue so now that you got your clip in the render queue you press lossless go to a uh, format press vocoder and if you don't have vocoder you can just download it online and then press format options and wait for it to load and then you press lossless 8-bit projects here and then apply okay okay and then just do it like this and now just press render so once you're done rendering your clip in after effects you're gonna head over to topaz and import your clip so the first thing i like to do is change the video scale i'm gonna upscale it two times and then I'm gonna go down to the enhancement tab and leave everything as it is but change the parameters to manual and my settings that I like to use is I like to use 50 for this one and I like to use 75 for recover details and 20 for sharpen and 5 for reduce noise and then minus around minus 95 for anti-aliasing but keep in mind that you have to change your settings depending on your clips quality and after that i go down to the output settings and go to choose this one and then mp4 and i remove the audio once you feel like you're content with your settings you can check your result on the preview so as you see now my preview is done rendering you can check the result by doing like this and if you feel like your result is good you can go down to export as and then export your video like this and wait for it to render as you see here i've imported my clip from topaz and you're just gonna drag it above the other one and you can delete this one but as you see the side the clip is a bit too big so press s and go to this and change it to 50. and once you're done with that you're gonna add the effect RSMB to it. And what RSMB does is it adds a bit more motion blur and makes the clip look a bit smoother. So we're gonna change this one to 0 0.75 and drag this one to all, of, all the way to 100. And as you see now, it's really smooth. After that, you're gonna select the clip and press Ctrl, Alt, Y to add an adjustment layer. And then you're gonna apply my CC by going to select, select your clip go to animation apply animation preset and go to CC experiment and here you have it 
as you see it looks really good and it matches the lips and if you feel like something is a little bit off with the CC for example if you might want to remove some of the glow or might lower the sharpen settings feel free to do that to match your outfit and after that your edit is almost done you're just gonna do the same thing as last time you're gonna cut the adjustment layer right here at the end of your clip and then you're gonna select both of them this and then Control shift c make sure both of them are ticked okay and then open this one go to file export and add to render key and here you're gonna go to lossless this vocoder format options and then press this one same as before and then you go to ok and this and then press render so as you can see now the video is done rendering and it's ready to be uploaded the things i showed you today is a basis of how to get the quality that i have don't forget to experiment on your own and try to find what suits you best. I want to thank you one more time for 1000 subscribers. I'm really thankful for the support and all the nice comments you've been leaving. And it's really been motivating me to pump out new edits. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. I won't be wasting your time anymore. See you guys soon.